tonight, uh, in honor of Belle's birthday, uh, we are going to uh, present the Tumbling Tumbleweeds, and we're very proud of that. And so let me tell you a little bit about them. They are celebrating their fifth anniversary as the Western Singing Group, engaging, entertaining musicians known for their close harmonies and captivating performance styles. Perfect place in this living room for that. Uh, they look to the sons of pioneers, Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, and the Singing Cowboys for their style and yet interpret the classics in a wonderful, fresh new way. They have been honored with awards by both the Academy of Western Artists and the Western Museum Music Association. Most recently, just two weeks ago, their newest CD, Blaze Across the West, was named by the Western Music Association Best Traditional Western Album by a Duo or a Group. So we're really excited to have you here, gentlemen. So here's what Douglas B. Green, I met him, that's Ranger Doug of Writers in the Sky, and he has a star down in the Walk of Stars. He had this to say, great harmony, creative arrangements, keeping the tradition alive. So we can't thank you enough for bringing your amazing talent to us. Let's get on with the show. May I proudly introduce the Tumbling Tumbleweeds.
you. Well, we just want to thank you so much for coming. Thank you to the William S. Hart, Friends Park Park, for having us here. As they said, we are the Tumbling Tumbleweeds. And a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We're going to move on to an old Sons of the Pioneers too. called Hold That Critter Down. It's a roundup time and the weather's fine. The strays must all be branded. The irons fry and the doggies cry, but the old man has commanded. So all day long I sing this song, hold that critter down. Hold him down, burn his high. There's extra pay for every day, so hold that critter down. Burn his high, hold him down. The goes down and the moon comes around to the old cook's shack where head. I'll throw him high and the old cook's side will tie him up in his bed.
Teachers Association just a couple weeks ago. We're still floating on a cloud for that. Uh, it was a, a labor of love. Uh, we took a, it took a year to record that album. And uh, one of the projects that we put together for that album was, uh, well, it was a couple cowboy swing tunes that we wanted to do. We were having trouble deciding which one to do because they're both kind of those sad, heartbreaky kind of tunes, you know? They didn't turn out very good for the cowboy. No. So we decided to take one half of one and the other half of the other, and we wrote a bridge to connect them, and well, our version turns out a lot better for the cowboy. So you'll hear what we mean. many mentors uh, in the Western music world. Uh, we've been so fortunate to actually meet some of the descendants of the original Sons of the Pioneers. One in particular is a, a, a lovely lady named Susie Spencer Marshall, who's a grandniece of Tim Spencer, one of the original Sons of the Pioneers, and uh, she's really, really helped us along our way. Of course, another one of our mentors is sitting right here in the audience, Miss Marilyn Tuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, one of the things that we did was uh, we put together an old Spencer tune and we actually surprised Susie Spencer Marshall with it at uh, the festival a couple weeks ago. And we'd like to do it for you now. It's a tune called Silent Trails. Silent Trails. Are you lonely where you are? Do you ever get yearning for the pile's years return? Campfire still a burning silent, silent trail. Silent trails to the cowboys sing again. Seems I hear the echoes ringing on the breezes softly. Distant 
was the 100th uh, birthday Roy Rogers this year uh, and we were lucky enough to be at the Tombstone uh, Western Music Festival on the day of his uh, of his uh, birthday uh, and in honor of Roy we we uh, are going to do for you now a, a, a song that was written by him it's a tune called My Saddle Pals and I and it's featuring Chris
tune is dedicated to a dear friend of ours that we never met. <laughs> One. <laughs> that felt funny just saying that. That's good. It was funny. Yeah, Take it. You look funny, sir. Take it. <laughs> well, um, a couple of years ago, something really wonderful happened at the Western Music Association Festival, and that is that Bing Crosby was inducted into the Western Music Hall of Fame. You know, he did a lot of Western tunes, and including this one we're going to do for you now. It's called Dear Hearts and Gentle People. And Probably a great friend of yours, too. Yes. house. Uh, we, of course, owe a great deal to Mr. William S. Hart for inventing the, the movie Western. And uh, we in our show uh, pay homage to uh, all of the Western films, uh, every which one we can think of to pay homage to, including uh, Walt Disney's films, who did a lot of uh, Western cartoons, as you know. And we're going to do a couple of those tunes now. What do you think? Let's do it. The roughest, toughest critter Never known to be a quitter Cause he never had no fear of man or beast So you be I A, I A, you be I O For the toughest critter west of the Alamo Once he roped a rage of a cyclone out of nowhere And he saddled it and settled down with ease And though the cyclone bucked and flitted Pecos knew that he had beat it And he tamed that on me went down to a breeze So you be I A all over Texas. So to sunny California he did go. 
And while the gag is kind of corny, he brought rain from California. That's the way we got the Gulf of Mexico. So you be I A I A U B I O for the toughest critter west of the Alamo. Now once a band of rustlers stole a herd of cattle. But see, they didn't know the herd they stole was Bill's. So when he coddled them crooked villains, Pegasus knocked out all their fillings. That's the reason why there's gold in these here hills. Got its name. So you be I A I A B I O. We're the toughest critter west of the Alamo. While reclining on a cloud high over Texas, with his guns he made the stars evaporate. When Pico saw them stars declining, well he left one brightly shining. As the emblem of the Lozar Texas State. So you be I A I A B I O. As the emblem of I saw it on TV. <laughs> That's how he knows it's true. <laughs> how about a theme song? A theme song? No, no forget it. No? Oh, okay. Wait, it's on the list. No, it's our theme song. Yeah. Oh, our theme yeah, song. Yeah, and it okay. is on the list. So we I thought you were like Great American Hero or something like that. I don't or know. Or like The Facts of Life or something? Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. Our theme song. Okay. Tumbling tumbleweeds 
shaggy log Drifting along with the tumbling Tumbleweed Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have one more to do before we close our first half. And guess what? You're going to join us. Everyone in this room has to know the words of the song, so we want to hear you, okay? Loud and clear. All right? Got it? Yeah. Five, six, dashing. Five, six. And dashing through the snow. We want more open sleigh. 